Hello, Dr. Dennis Lee here. Today I'd like to talk to you about the topic of the immune system in traditional Chinese medicine. And so in TCM, we have a concept called Wei Qi. And Wei Qi is referred to as defensive Qi. And what this type of Qi does is it flows on the surface of our bodies. It doesn't flow within the channels and the meridians. And it protects our body from external attack, which in Western terms would be invasions of pathogenic factors such as bacteria or even viruses. And so since the body is intricately linked as far as the qi system goes, anything that affects one of our systems may affect the other. And thus it's imperative to maintain a healthy immune system that the other zongfu organs and the other systems within the body are working in coherent fashion. Thus metabolism, uh, digestion, stress, and physical health are all important for maintaining a healthy immune system. And so why do our immune systems get run down or why do we become immunocompromised? Outside of serious disease, stress is probably one of the leading factors. It's well known that stress is often an under or overlooked aspect of human life and society. What stress does is it puts your body into a sympathetic nervous system activation. And in the short term, this can actually enhance the immune system. However, long term chronic stress can lead to a breakdown of the immune system and an increase in actually inflammation within the body. And thus, how do we maintain a system where we can manage our stress? Well, stress is one of those things where it's very healthy in small amounts. However, in large amounts, it results in the release of cortisol. And cortisol is a stress hormone which actually prevents or hinders cellular inflammation, but also cellular healing. And thus, how do we maintain stress? In general, for TCM, we have acupuncture, we have herbology, and we have moxibustion all of which can help us, our bodies actually cope with the daily stresses that we may encounter. And so keeping the body out of sympathetic activation, we can promote the parasympathetic nervous system, which allows us to grow our cells to metabolize and to heal. And so from a healthy perspective, um, maintaining stress is important. Now, this is no replacement for standard procedures such as hand washing, staying away from crowded areas and not touching your face after making contact with external elements. And so coming up in the next series of videos, we'd like to show you and demonstrate to you how moxibustion, acupuncture, and herbology all can be used to maintain a healthy immune system and to treat some of the more common um, external ailments that we may encounter, such as colds and flus. Thank you for watching.